So, what are the cables we use? So, NIC completed. Next part is cables, right? What are the cables we use in the networking? Axial cable. Four axial cables. Twisted pair means there is a two types UTP and STP type of twisted pair cable. Unshielded twisted pair, shielded twisted pair. Optical fiber or fiber optical cables. Optical fiber or a fiber optical cables. These are the three main type of cables we use it. Out of that one, twisted pair cables generally we are using. Okay. So in this PPT, so we have uh, shown something like a how coaxial cable is located and different type of connectivities. Coaxial cable. You know, modern days TVs, we use this coaxial cable kind of stuff. Okay. It is support 800 meters. The modern days cable TVs are there. It contains single upper wire in center to transmit. Are a signal okay so you want to add that is you want to see how coaxial cables are there like this so these are the coaxial cables central copper cable insulator copper mesh outside insulators Sir, what is that 800 meters? Is it length or what? Length of the supporting, supporting distance. So you can transmit data up to 800 meters with the coaxial cable. Okay, sir. Okay. Then actually two pictures required. This is a connector. Uh, it is. Uh, Column, so we'll add like this. We need uh, another one. This is, uh, and uh, it contains uh, this copper mesh. Okay, the copper mesh is used to protect signal from EMI electromagnetic interference. Okay, that is the simplest form in a coaxial cables. Twisted pair cable, fiber optical cable, matter is there. So we'll see those kind of matter. Twisted pair cable, the wires, the pair of wires are twist each other. Pair of wires twist each other. So why twist? Um,
Why twist? Because this twist. Start to cancel noise. Yeah, very good. To decrease the attenuations, okay, the internal uh, filtering kind of stuff will be reduced. So then the signal transmission speed will be increases. Okay, in this twisted pair cables, it is two types. One is a unshielded twisted pair cable and another one is shielded twisted pair cable. One second, I'm searching. So good pictures are available here. Instead of searching. This is a this is actually a good picture. Neat clear, more brightness is there. Okay. These are the twisted pair cables. Unshielded twisted pair cable and STP sh shielded twisted pair cable. The pair of wires are twist each other. Not cable is not twisting. The pair of wires are twist each other. Okay. And there is a copper mesh on this STP to protect data from electromagnetic interference. What is electromagnetic interference? You know, you are getting mobile signal and everything. These are all. So it not in a guided medium, it is spreaded over time. Okay, so it is contains electrical and magnetic signal. It is. It causes a crosstalk. It mixer of signals. Crosstalk means mixer of signal. Use a RJ45 connector. Here we use this RJ45 connector to connect this cable. The plug sockets we use. That is RJ45 type we are using. Guys, it is contains eight wires, also called as four pair. Okay, these wires are color. There is a four color wires: blue, orange, green, brown type of wires are there. With pairing with this blue wire, there is a white blue or white orange. For green, white green. For brown, white brown. These are the pair case wires. Totally eight wires. Totally contains eight wires. Okay. It's a different category of these cables also there. Okay. The cables from starting, it's a different categories are there. Cat one cable, cat two, cat three. Cat 4, Cat 5, Cat 5E, Cat 6. Of course, someone told like a Cat 6, Cat 7, Cat 6E kind of stuff is there. But as I know, only I'm telling guys, Cat 1 cable, the connection type is RJ11. Means it is a telephone cable. Telephone type of cables only it is two pair. Two pair. Okay. From here onwards, all are RJ45 type. So eight pair only. So sorry, four pair cable support. Okay. Network purpose only. So I think it is around four Mbps. It will support. These are all common. So I am talking in a cat five. It is 100 Mbps. At four, 16 Mbps. At three, 10 Mbps. Means you have Ethernet. Either you should use cat three or cat four. Cat five e also a good one because it's a 500 to 600. As per my old test book knowledge, guys, I'm telling. Okay, so it depends upon test book, Google's. The values are uh, keep changing, so that's why I'm telling like this. Cat 6 is 1 Gbps. Different categories of cables are there. 
in these cables color coding connectivity so there is a strike through cable crossover cable and rollover type of cables also available the cable depends upon the there are created this cable so strike through cable crossover cable Of course, there is a pictures, guys. This is a beautiful picture of different tools we use in the network. Okay, different type of tools you use in the network. So, like this. tools we use in the network are like this. It is a testing tool. Once you created a so once you have a cable you want to test it so you have to connect one end of the cable here another end of the cable here you have to test make sure that cable is in a good condition no problem in this crimping part see is this stp utp rj45 connector so we have to insert these wires into this rj45 connector put it in this crimping tool, press it, then a cable connector is happen. Okay. So originally the cables are look like this. You can go to this cable. So this is called a patch cable. This is called a, a patch cable. Okay, you can see this is the one end, another end. So okay. So in this one, try to cable, cross our cable, roll our cable, depends upon how you create the cable and with the different purposes. Nowadays it is not like that, so it's a different way is this. Just to note that's it only. Next one is fiber optical cables or optical fiber cables. Fiber optical cables or optical fiber cables. What is this? These cables are made up of glasses. These cables are made up of glass. So because of the glasses, it does not have uh, what is happening. Okay, because of these are the glasses made up of glasses. Uh, because this is, is a, uh, <laughs> it is making me mad. that is enough okay it is made up of glasses so no electromagnetic interference we use a light signal to communicate okay it is used for very long distance communication very high speed data transmission speed is there normally UTP cables or 100 meters support limited speed capacities but fiber optical cables will give a very good speed of data transmission and very long distances and we are not using for a regular LAN communication purpose 
okay so we are all getting internet through fiber optical cables only guys this is how we are getting yeah one second Okay. What is let's start? Already started now. Okay, message may came late. <laughs> it's okay. So this is submarine cable map. So in the entire world, how this fiber optical cables are connected. So we are getting internet through these fiber optical cables only, not by satellites. You can see this. This is India. India. So what are their entries and uh, connectivity points? South Africa, South America, America, Russia. Even the on ice also they put it. Okay or maybe on version. So usually under versions, these submarine uh, cables are there. So you can see OFC cables under version lines. If you put it, you can see videos also available and also you can try with the picture. See it is it's a cable under version. Okay, the cable inside is a very small unit numbers only, but the for protection, they put a lot of things on it. Okay. So that is a fiber optical cable. We are getting internet through fiber optical cables. Okay. Guys, why it is cost as well as a cheaper and why we are not using land communication. So we are using fiber optical cable in a small networks also, but server rooms, storage services, network core network side, we use a fiber optical cables. You know why? Because of this. Okay, if I have a, so in generally people will give an idea. So why can't you use fiber optical cable instead of uh, LAN cable because it is on our LAN cable, we don't give more speed. Fiber optical cable give you better speed. So look at here. I have a desktop. I want to connect with the fiber optical cable. See, this is the NIC for a fiber optical connectivity. Okay, so you have to insert this NIC to your PC. Then we need a cable to connect. That is not enough. Other end of the cable should connect it to the fiber optical switches. Okay, so what happened? You have to buy this HBA NIC, name is HBA host based adapter, and uh, this cables and switches like that. Cost is become more. And to deal with these fiber optical cables, you need a special training. A special equipment is required, not that much cheaper. Okay, guys, these are all about your cables understand guys different type of cables yes sir i am telling only simple parts only not a very hardcore part it's not a ccn training anyway If you have any doubt or question, then I will forward certain videos to you or pictures also helpful you to understand. Mm, yeah. Last topic today is this physical topologies kind of stuff. Just relax for a uh, five minutes. Or can I continue? Just relax a minute. 
just one minute only we'll continue we'll complete in this part only why you need to break again it will take time just relax a minute Okay, guys. Let's start. Already recording is going on. Okay. So what is a physical topology? What is physical topology? The way the, the way of devices connected physically. You have a devices, you are connected devices physically. is called a network, right? The way you are connecting devices is called a physical topology. What is meant by logical topology? Yes, sir. I'll
So logical topology means the way IP address configuration to come uh, to uh, to communicate are uh, in the communication. Okay. The way IP addresses are configured. So better is are configured. Okay. In communication or in to the devices. Okay, so this is better way. Guys, here you have a different uh, uh, topologies are there. What are the different topologies? First topology, ring topology, mesh topology, mesh topology, star topology, extended star topology, point to point topology, and hybrid topology. Okay. So basically, best topology, first topology, uh -huh. ring topology, star topology, and hybrid topologies. These remaining are just uh, certain names. Point to point topology, point to multi point topologies. Okay, different type of topologies, bus topology, ring topology, mesh topology, star topology, hybrid topology, point to point topology, point to multi point topologies. Okay, so guys, are you able to hear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. So these are the topologies. So Either I take uh, better, I will do, <laughs> I will draw here in the paint brush for a chest per show. Okay, because uh, if I draw in uh, Google Doc directly, it will take a lot of time. Guys, what is the bus topology? The bus topology, the details are in PPT. Okay, only pictures I'm giving here. What is a bus topology? There is a backbone wire. Devices are directly connected to this backbone wire. It's simple to configure. It is very simple one, easy to configure. But there is a problem. If in case the wire is broken, the further communication will be stopped means A can able to communicate B, but AB cannot able to communicate C or D because of this wire is broken. It is difficult to troubleshoot, less redundancy, like if we are depend directly are connected to cable. Okay. It is very easy, simple to configure also. Difficult to troubleshoot. which is bus topology. Next one, ring topology. Ring topology. What is ring topology? Each device is connected to the next device. A device is connected to the next device. Device is connected to next device like that a bus topology will be formed for example sorry ring topology this is a ring topology 
A is connected to B, B is connected to C, C is connected to D, D is connected to E. So this is ring topology. Ring topology. Okay, so but there is a problem. So if in case one of the device is down, further communication will stop. Bah. Don't have any work or work. Okay, if you want to communicate it to A to D communication. One second. Okay, so A to D communication, A send a packet to D. So how it will send A to B, B to C and C to D. If D want to send a packet to A, D to E, E to A. So it is ring topology, either it works either clockwise or a anti-clockwise direction only okay it used certain algorithms to understand how to send the packet through this which path clockwise or anti-clockwise path okay so this is a ring topology again i'm telling if any device is down no further communication or wire is broken no further communication means a to B communications will stop, but B to A communication runs. That kind of communication happens. Difficult to troubleshoot, difficult to scalability. Scalability means ability to increase time. Means I want to add one more device. Again, I have to connect like this. Okay. Again, I have to connect like this. Okay. What is a ring topology? A device is connected to another device, another device is connected to another device. Like that, one device is connected to other device. So, last device is connected to our first device. It's form a ring. Okay, it is like a closed circuit type. Okay, so we have to, whenever you are communicating, you have to pass us through one ring. The next one, guys, we'll see. This is ring, right? Of course, that is also correct, but still so much of configuration that is I will do it later. Before that one, I want to ask a question. What is it? Which topology it is? Star topology. Very good. Okay, because it is look like a star immediately. We are telling it is a star topology, but wrong. It is mesh topology. Okay, so next time you see a star, it is not star. Okay. A send a packet to B, B send a packet to C, C send a packet to D, D send a packet to E. And A send a packet to A, B, C, D. B can able to send a packet to A, E, D, E. Uh, just mind is not working because that music sound background voice. <laughs> mind is gone somewhere. 
Okay, guys. Mesh topology means any device, any a device is connected to. Uh, Sir, wrap up the class for today. Yeah, only to one more topology is there. <laughs> That's okay. the point. Okay, yeah, one more star topology is there. So that is the mesh topology. Uh, that is everyday same work only. So that's the point. Every device is connected to all other devices. All other devices. So what is the uh, things? It is a very complex. See, one device is connected to multiple devices. It is very complex, difficult to troubleshoot, but highly redundant. For example, this wire is broken, but all other communications are going on. Like in a bus topology, backbone wire is gone, further communication will stop. But here, all are communicating each other. Even the one wire is A to B, direct communication is not there. Next, one device is down. For example, this device is down. No problem. Remaining devices are communicating each other. That's why it is called a highly reliable network. Redundancy is there, but difficult to scale. Scale means you want to add one more device, then complexity, wiring, connectivity, cost increases. Okay, so like uh, this is a device I adding, so it is become more complex. So this is the mesh topology. Of course, in certain places, mesh topology we are using. We don't use bus and ring, but mesh is using in certain places, mainly in a server places. Okay. Sir, in mesh, every device can communicate with each other directly, right? Yes, directly we can able to communicate. Okay. So, in a storage area networks, like a SAN type of storage, server to server meshing, like a redundancy purpose, core routing places, we use this mesh kind of stuff. This is star topology, guys. Actually, the star topology is this one. Devices are connected to a centralized device called a hub or a switch. They are connected to a hub or a switch. For example, device name is A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so how we are communicating? So A send a packet to this hub or a switch and switch will send a packet to B. Or A, A want, C want to send a packet to D. Like to switch, switch to D. So every communication going through this central device only. It is a very simple, a little cost is there. Why? Because we are using additional device here, not just wiring. Also, we are using additional device like a hub or a switch to make it communicate. If one of the device is down, no problem. Other devices will communicate each other. Any one of the device wire is broken, no problem. Other devices will communicate each other. But centralized device is down. Total, total communication will stop. But it is very easy to troubleshoot. Why it is easy to troubleshoot? We can locate where is issue. Is it a centralized device or a cable or a machine? So we can recognize and we can easily do the troubleshooting. Okay, easy to troubleshoot, easy to configure, easy to troubleshoot. Compared to mesh topology, it is not realable because uh, centralized device is down, counter communication is down. So it is not much reliability is not there, redundancy kind of stuff is not there, but it is scalable. Okay, so compared to all other topologies, 
Okay, it is a scalable. Scalability, easy to configure, easy to troubleshoot is also there. What is the scalability? Ability to increase the size, right? For example, I have multiple devices are there. Multiple devices are there. So I don't have a bigger switch or a hub. Then what I do, I take another switch or a hub, I connect the devices to it. Then I will connect these two topologies together. So then it is become a single segment network. Single segment network. This is a scalability. This is called a extended star. Extended star topology. This is the star topology. And uh, we are extend the star topology. We can scale up your star topology by connecting like this. Okay, so point to point topologies usually we are connecting from here to here. Okay, I will uh, show you this is. We are connecting from here to here, point to point, here to here, point to point, here to here, point to point. And this point to point topology name we use. Actually, in the real point to point, like a, that your router is connected to your ISP router, a router is connected to another router, this is point to point connected. If in case a router is connected to multiple routers, so it is multi connectivity, this is point to multi point, point to multi point, this part, this is point to point connectivity. What is hybrid combination of two topologies together? Like a mesh topology, star topology combined, called a full mesh topology, that is called a hybrid topology. So this is, I've taken this picture from here and I will add this. Uh, Compare all those which is used more often. Uh, uh, what it is? By comparing all those topologies methods, which is used more often. We are using star topology. We are all using star. So for security purpose, which is very good. Which is very good mesh topology. Uh, in a security purpose, sir. Securing, securing also mesh topology. Redundancy wise mesh topology actually. Redundancy wise mesh topology, but it is complex and a um, lot of risk is there remains. The difficult to troubleshoot, difficult to scaling means you have a more devices like a, in our office. We have, a, for example, 100 computers. Very difficult to configure and maintenance. But star topology, and, uh, topology is a uh, uh, worst case na, in, in security purpose. Security, how security influence that is, I don't know. But if in case you're really concerned about a security, don't use hub, use switches and uh, create a VLANs in the switches. Okay. Why, sir, star is used more than mesh? Because it means that mesh is more uh, reliable than star. Yeah. Name is reliable because um, if one line or one device is down, further communication is going on. We don't require any centralized devices here. But star is very easy to configure. So simply have a device and device having an IC. How many LAN ports we have? One LAN port only there, right? In general, I'm talking. One LAN port is there. It is VC, one cable, we can connect it to switch and we are in the network. But mesh topology, size increases, number of NICs is required for each device. Right? This is not like, and easy to configure, easy to maintain, easy to troubleshoot. In star, you mean in star only one NIC is required? Yes. Per okay. device. So you can see one cable. This device, one cable. But here, one device, multiple cables. Means multiple energy. Okay. 
recently some people are asking me so about a tree topology what is a tree topology it is having a, a backbone cable and uh, all other topologies connections are going to this backbone cable only it is a kind of hybrid only okay the music guy again started not a music it is there are doing office work so the drilling machines and all okay we are all using guys start topology because easy to scalable also not only easy to configure configuration is easy easy to maintain easy to troubleshoot and easy to scalable okay number of devices we can able to connect okay that's the main point in the this topologies so tomorrow we will going to see about a networking devices hub switches routers already i shared this link uh, to your whatsapp so okay so please check it uh, the ppt part notes link already you know in case of you are missing i will share it again yeah, yeah, we didn't miss Okay, that's it for today. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.